hello and uh, welcome to unix in gadi in this video we will talk about the <coughs> assignment one of nptl ethical hacking so before starting the video please uh, everyone subscribe our channel and press on all notifications so that we will uh, easily reach to you uh, whenever we upload our video so uh, without wasting your time we will uh, start the video so the first question of uh, assignment one is which of the following statements is are true with respect to uh, penetration testing of a network so the this is the question number one of uh, ethical hacking so the answer of question number uh, one is option number a and c so all students please mark your assignment uh, the first question uh, the first answer of uh, question number one is uh, a and c please mark so the next question is which of the following statements is that true for a packet switched network so the answer of question number two is uh, option number a and uh, c and d please mark all uh, these three answer and the next question is a packet of size 500 bits is sent over a uh, 100 kilobits per second kbps point to point link whose propagation delay in 5 m second the packet will reach the destination after dash m second assume one k is equal to 1000 so the answer of question number three is uh, 405 so you will write here 405405 so the next question is question number four which of the following osi layers is responsible for node to node routing of packets so the next answer of next question is option number D data link layer please mark and that uh, please uh, we are moving to the next question what is the purpose of the port number in TCP IP networks so the answer of question number five is uh, option number D none of the none of these so please mark your uh, answer next question is question number six which of the following statements is that true for the tcp protocol so the answer of question number six is uh, option number a and d you all please uh, mark this and uh, mark these answers so the next question is which of the following are valid port numbers in tcp ip so the answer of question number seven is option number a and b uh, so please all students mark your answer the answer of question number seven is option number a ten thousand and option number b fifty thousand next question is if the ip header is 256 bits long what will be the value of the hln field so the answer of question number eight is option number e none of these you have to mark it so the next question is the maximum size of data can be accommodated in an ip datagram is dash bits so the answer of question number nine is provided on our uh, uh, website so please visit our website or the link given in, in the de uh, description box so i am leaving this question so the next question is which of the following statement is a true so the answer of question number 10 is option number a and d please mark your answer so i have left one question question number nine uh, so the answer of question number nine is provided in description box please uh, check the description box and go to the link you will get the answer thank you and thank you